what's going on you guys it is your boy josh and i'm back with another video welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please make sure you guys go down and smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on for me now let's get right into this video so today we're going to be doing like a mid low taper oh my god we're going to be keeping the fro and we're starting with my babylon fx3 setting in that ball line once I'm done setting in my ball line, I'm going to come in with my Babbles Low Pro FX Clippers with the lever all the way open and I'm going to about a half an inch. We have no guard on. And once I got it set in good, I'm going to close the lever all the way and hit the bottom of the line and then open it up gradually to halfway as we fade out the guideline. For our next guideline, we're using the same clipper, but we have the number one guard on with the lever all the way open and we're going up about another half an inch. And we want to keep the shape of each guideline the same as we go up, but as we go up, we don't want to push it up too high. So after this, I'm going to start my fading down process. So once I have this guideline set in good with the lever all the way open, I'm going to drop down and close it all the way and just go up at that guideline, but not as high as we did with it all the way open. And we're going to fade it out. Right after that number one guard, I came in with my half guard with the lever all the way closed. And I'm just hitting the bottom of the guideline, kind of feathering it with the corner of my blade. So to finish blending out this guideline that we made, I'm going to do my fading down process. I have my number two guard here with the lever all the way open. And we're just going to fade down until we see that line of demarcation go away. And you're going to see it happen. So we're going to go in with the number two guard with the lever all the way open. And then we're going to drop down to the number two guard with the lever all the way closed. And as you guys can see, that harsh line is already blending out. And then right here, we're going to come in with our one and a half guard with the lever all the way open. And then as I fade it and get it blended how I want to, I'm going to drop down and close it all the way. Notice every time I pick up a guard, I never start with the guard all the way closed because sometimes it cuts too much depending on the hair texture. So I like to be safe and start with the lever at least halfway open or all the way open before I drop down to the initial um, link that I need to blend it out. So right here, I have my number one guard with the lever all the way open. I was doing some detail work with it. And then after this, I'm going to come in with no guard on doing my corner blending technique and kind of like just get a lot of those dark areas that didn't really come out with the guard. So right here I'm going to show you guys how I blend my beard into the taper as well. Starting with my low pro FX clippers. I'm going to be starting with no guard on with the lever all the way open and I'm just going to fade down from there until it's all the way closed and that guideline is blended out. Then we're going to come in with my number two guard and this is going to be the biggest guard I'm using. After, after the number two guard, I'm going to just fade down from there. So I'll start with it all the way open and then I close it all the way. And as I and as I go shorter in length, I make sure that I get closer to the top of the beard to create that transition because I don't want to dig into the bulky area with a low guard. And then I'm going to have to bring his beard down even lower on the taper. So I have my one and a half guard right here after the two. And then I'm going to come in with my number one guard all the way open. And then after I get that faded a little bit, I'm going to close it all the way. And then we're going to follow that up with the half guard. So just like we did on the taper on the side, but we're just blending it into the beard instead of the afro on top. And right here, I'm just going to do a little bit of detail work with no guard on just to really get some dark areas and get the blend looking like I want to. So right now we're going to start on the neck taper as you guys can see i'm brushing down the hair to get it to fall in its natural um, hair pattern so i can get a better fade and i'm setting in our first guideline using my babyless snap fx trimmers um and i'm going in and i'm just setting in the ball line and cleaning up all that hair off the back of the neck i want to make sure all the hair is clean so i have a clean canvas and then we're going to go in with our babyless low pro fx clippers for our next guideline with the lever all the way open no guard going up about a half an inch as you guys can see and then after we go in and get it set in, we're going to drop down to the lever all the way closed and just hit the bottom of the guideline to soften it. And then we're going to open the lever halfway gradually and we're going to just flick up into the middle of that guideline and get it blended out. Right after setting in that guideline, I'm going to come in with my number one guard on with the lever all the way open and go up about a half an inch. And we're going to make sure that we set this guideline parallel to the guideline that we did previous to make sure this fade is symmetric symmetrical all the way across the back of the head and um so yeah we're going to go in with our number one guard all the way open and then we're going to close the lever all the way and just flick the bottom of that guideline and we're going to come back with our next guard
And y'all already know we're going to come back with that half guard to finish off the rest of this guy line. It wasn't too heavy, so it wasn't too much work we had to do. But we did get in there and we did some detail work to make sure it was blended to my satisfaction. And we're going to be fading down for the rest of this next taper. I have my number two guard with the lever all the way closed. And I'm just going up and scooping out in a C motion because I don't really want to dig too deep into the fro. We really just want to kind of taper it and get it to fade without digging too deep. And once we're done with that number two guard close, I'm going to drop down to that one and a half open first. And then we're going to gradually close it all the way and just keep tapering the back of the taper until it's blended how we want to as I, as I fade down. So we're going to be doing a little bit more detail work with the number one guard on with the lever all the way closed and we're really just tapering at the fade using my corner technique really just to get any dark spots so right here we're going to be tapering in front of his hairline and around his taper with the number two guard with the lever all the way open he has a lot of fine hair so we want to make sure that we get it laid down smooth so we can get a good lineup and after i knock it down i want to brush it in real good to get it to lay down and here we go so i'm using my babylis fx3 trimmers to set in my lineup we're going to be keeping it natural for the beginning. We're going to be applying some uh, hair fiber enhancements to it. As you guys can see, he has a thin hairline, but that doesn't mean anything. We're still getting it sharp and clean, all natural, and we're not pushing it back. So make sure you guys have your trimmer set well because you'll be able to put nice lines on any canvas. It's just all about how you approach it. And I shampooed this client before um, he got a cut so it helped with the hair being like cleaner and less oils and just a cleaner cut all around as you guys can see it's super sharp natural hairline no enhancements yet and right here y'all already know what's going on that neckline always hits i'm using my babless fx3s with the dlc 2.0 blade on it this blade isn't the original blade for this trimmer i have a mod on it from the filthy i think it's filthy blends mod for the fx3 trimmer dope mod and as you guys can see these things are hitting i mean that around the ear neckline always goes crazy for me and um these did a lot of justice for me so right here is going to be a real satisfying part of the video we're going to be cleaning up his beard and um these fx3s really did a lot of justice man it was super sharp i'm gonna uh, sit back and let you guys watch this beard transformation we about done with this cut i can't wait for you guys to see the after So a quick tip for you guys, if you guys noticed, his beard grew super high on his cheeks. And um, usually I always ask my clients, how low do they want me to dig into the top of their beard? You don't want to automatically go in and do what you want to do because some people like their beard to sit higher. Some people like it to be lower into the thicker part of their beard. But always ask your clients about that before you line the top of their beard up. So we got them all lined up. Right here, I'm just gonna be applying some enhancements. I like to use hair fibers. Sometimes I use semi-permanent hair color, but the fibers work best for me. I feel like it's more natural looking and I can be like more accurate with it. I just kind of like how it flows, um, to be honest. And my clients like it better also. But you don't wanna put too much. And right here, we're just gonna be lining it up using my Babylon Snap FX trimmers. And we're gonna be lining the hair fibers up to the original hairline that we created this is so you don't push it back because usually you can see the hairline through the uh, hair fibers so i just line it up right where the hairline has a trace so right here i'm going to be applying some holding spray for my hair fibers just to make sure that it locks it in and it doesn't go anywhere it'll hold for a couple days and i'm using my dyson blow dryer just to dry it on medium heat and we're back with the fx3 trimmers and we're just going over the hairline one more time to get any loose hairs or loose fibers that were kind of out of whack we want every line to be as straight as possible and it's crisp to the edge And before we ended off this haircut, y'all already know I had to hit him with that razor line on the top of the beard to get it as sharp as possible, man. This cut came out so fire. Let me know in the comments what y'all think so far, man. I'm about to show y'all the before and after, but this thing is crispy. 
He came in, needed a haircut so bad, he was fresh off a flight and said, man, I couldn't hit Atlanta without a fresh cut for the weekend, so I had to get him right. So y'all, this was the before. Man, he came in looking rough, beard out of whack, taper out of whack. But y'all know he came to the right spot. He sat in Josh's chair and I had to get him right. So without further ado, you guys, this is the cut. This joint so fire. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut in the comments. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys press that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys like it. I'll see y'all on the next one. It's your boy Josh. Peace.